Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech, and today Apple released watchOS 6.2.1 to the public. This is available to all watchOS 6 supported devices and came in at 47.4 megabytes on my Series 4 Apple Watch. Should be about the same size on all of those devices. Now, the first thing is, this is pretty small as far as its size, so it's a minor bug fix. So let's take a look at the build number and then we'll talk about what's new. The build number is 17T530, and this particular build is just basically a small bug fix for something that Apple fixed yesterday with iOS 13.4.1. And so what it means is it fixes an issue where this device or any device running watchOS 6.2 previously could not participate in FaceTime audio calls, and that was with devices that were running iOS 9.3.6 or older, or Mac OS El Capitan 10.11.6 or earlier. So a lot of people thought maybe Apple discontinued this, but now Apple's patched it in not only iOS, but also watchOS, as well as Mac OS. They actually released an update today with Mac OS 10.15.4 supplemental update that also patches that among other things that they've patched that fixes a lot of bugs. So it's not a major feature update, but it is something something that fixes things. And so with this particular update, I would not expect any changes to your battery life, to speed or anything like that. In fact, Apple has been pretty good with watchOS 6 and its speed in general. And I know some people were asking me to do a video about what I would like to see with watchOS 7. And to be honest, I'm not really sure yet because the watch is not something that I use as much as my phone. So I use it for a watch. I use it for the temperature, UV, for a decibel meter and for the calendar. I don't really use it for anything else. So any suggestions that you have, I would love to hear from you in the comments below because it's not something that I normally use my watch for, for. And I've thought about using it a little bit more with different apps. And speaking of different apps, there was actually an app released today that lets you highly customize your Apple watch and its complications and allows you to change them throughout the day. And so that particular app is one I tried out a little bit, but it's called Watchsmith. And so I saw this sort of published everywhere and thought it was pretty interesting. So it's a free app to download. And I think there's maybe some paid upgrades in it. It's not an advertisement or anything here, but I thought it was a pretty interesting app because you can customize all sorts of things and have it change throughout the day if you want to change your complications. So I thought that was really interesting. And so other than that, there's nothing new in watch OS 6.1.2. It's just a minor bug fix. And hopefully it maybe improves a little bit of battery life if you are experiencing poor battery life. But in general, most people are saying it's doing really well. Now, if you've found anything else in watchOS 6.2.1, I'd love to hear from you in the comments below. And of course, I'll link this wallpaper in the description as I always do. If you haven't subscribed already though, please subscribe. And if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.